vocatus atque non vocatus, Deus deret, called or not, God will come. These are the words that C. G. Jung inscribed over the entrance to his home in Kusnacht on the shores of the Lake of Zurich. And I'd like to talk today briefly about three aspects of the notion of vocation. First, vocation as a calling, a fate, a destiny, a compelling drive to fulfill the deepest creative energies within the psyche. It's a drive towards what Jung called individuation, the fulfillment of everything that we are. James Hillman called it the oak in the acorn, that inner principle that confers shape and significance upon our lives. Joseph Campbell evokes the call to adventure in his model of the hero journey, referring to that crisis in our lives that compels us to depart from the domestic familiarities of daily life and begin the journey into the unknown, where magical, unexpected things happen that transform us in profound and mysterious ways. Secondly, vocation as work, in the alchemical sense of an opus, the kind of work that we do in the Mythological Studies program, which involves a transformative engagement with the various disciplines it embraces, cultural mythologies, depth psychology, religious studies, literature, art history, music, and philosophy, and lots of deep reading, deep writing, deep engagement with stories and the mythical imagery of art history and of dream. After Joseph Campbell died, a lovely tribute celebrated his contribution to what the author called deep learning in America, then as now a rare and precious thing. And finally, vocation as profession, in the sense of gainful employment, while degrees in the specialized disciplines of the humanities, like the degrees in business, psychology, medicine, or law, lead to a limited set of specific kinds of jobs, our degree in the Mythological Studies program opens fields of multiple possibilities, catalyzing the kind of creative energy necessary to survival in a rapidly changing world one in which the old ways of doing things have proven untenable. I've had students in education, medicine, creative writing, business, law, therapy, and pastoral work whose careers have been substantially enriched by their matriculation in our program. As Joseph Campbell often said, when you find your vocation and stick to it, with unswerving perseverance. Marvelous and unexpected things happen. Doors open when you least expect to find them. And most especially, when you come to the dead ends that force us to discover new directions and new ways of living. So let me end with a brief personal reflection on the mystery of vocation. At a time in my life, when I thought that all was lost, family, love, meaningful work, employment, even friendship. When like Hamlet, I had lost all my mirth, when this brave or hanging firmament, this majestical roof fretted with golden fire, seemed to be nothing but a foul and pestilent congregation of vapors. And all human life, nothing but a quintessence of dust. It was then that I heard the call, and it came from Dennis and Patrick, inviting me to be here and teach in the program. And I followed that path up out of the labyrinth, the long and winding road that brought me to Pacifica on this lovely day to welcome all of you here in this beautiful, remarkable, unique space which I hope you will come to call home. Thank you very much.